All right, so big maple tree with a nice amount of color on this in the back. Magnolia tree right here in the middle. And then back there is a birch tree on the neighboring property that all the leaves, of course, come on our side. So um, it's quite a bit of a project. I've already started blowing a lot of the leaves, trying to keep up with it the best I can. I blow them all against the fence and then typically I just dump everything back there. It's a big spot right there. And then this is just um, conjoined property between these two fences. So, um, but there's still a lot more to go as you can see. And then big tree on the side, that's on the neighbor's property over here, dumps a bunch of leaves on out. And then out front with that big maple tree, I already started about a month ago. So a couple different methods that I use. I've got a nice pine tree here too. Um, to clean up these leaves, I typically just blow a lot of them best I can, but it's hard to keep up with. I want to get a backpack blower um, or a nice gas blower, but I um, feel like I'm just kind of outgrowing the electric when I have the Ego. It works good, but it's just a big property. It's a lot to keep up with. So it's a little under an acre on this property. Um, so a couple methods that I've used to pick up leaves. This one here, this Toro Ultra Blower Vac, I think it was, I can't remember the price on this. I've had this thing about two years. And it does, it's nice because it mulches the leaves, but you have to plug it in. You got the cord, of course. So you always have to deal with that, you know, lining this thing up, throwing this thing over your shoulder. And to me, it's just, it's bulky. It's uncomfortable. It's not easy on the back. I mean, this thing's kind of heavy. So you have to kind of hold it upright too. And I'm, I'm almost, well, I'm 5'11". So this thing comes up, you know, well above my waist. So it's very hard to hold this thing up. And just to go this motion for so long. I mean, yeah, you're holding some of the weight with the bag around your shoulder. But it's just still, it's a lot on your back. It's a lot of strain. It's got a nice, um, you know, lever here so you can easily adjust the uh, the suction power on it. Um, and the speed, I should say. But it's got to it's gotta have a cord to it. So the cord gets in the way. You have to use the energy for that. Um, and especially too, when this thing gets wet, when these leaves get wet, I mean, this thing gets clogged very easily. So then you have to stop what you're doing and unclog that. So that gets to be very cumbersome. But the nice thing about this is it does, it does mulch them. Um, so you can just easily empty this. The zipper is really nice here. So you can empty this into a leaf bag and just, you know, you have to undo the whole thing. But, um, other than that, that's pretty nice. So, um, that's my opinion on that and then this thing here i like a lot better uh the leaf vac or the uh the sweeper but problem with this the quality control kind of sucks on it so if you get a really nice one works good i still like this because it it's just easier to use right i mean yeah it's a workout but you don't have to worry about cord you don't have to worry about using energy other than your own right so um this has a lot of volume to it and then i just typically just dump them way back there so but i'm gonna have to call Vivor tools because this thing's, you know, after a month, it's just already falling apart. So not really satisfied with the quality on it, but the concept on this is definitely a lot better than using this. Now this would come in handy for certain areas. Like if you just want to get around this fire pit. Um, but then again, you could still suck up some of the mulch too. So just keep that in mind. I'm not a fan of this thing. I don't know. It's just heavy, awkward, bulky, very uncomfortable. So it's, you know, user fatigue really sets in when you're using this for a little bit, especially then when you're empty and you got to take it off, you know, un you know, it unplugs as you're taking it off. So it's just, there's a lot of issues with it. Does it work? Yeah, but I don't think it works as good as something like this. So that's my two cents, but let me know what you guys are using and, uh, you know, how you're really stepping up your leaf pickup game this year. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.